Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, checking in, and you're watching Fitted Fame. Cause my sweat turned off right now. Get friend looks going to turn off. Talking that talk, but it ain't about much. Hey, no mess, cause the sweat turned off. This week on Fitted Fame, we have another Meyer League Monday in store exclusive. With no further ado, let's get into this. All right. Um, if you're following the channel, you know I just did a video with a huge Braves haul I got from the Braves Clubhouse store and the their. Uh, advanced Day minor league affiliate, the Rome Braves Trading Post store. I got major steals on fitness from there for like 15 to 20 bucks a piece there. So I went to the AAA affiliate, um, the Gwinnett Stripers, formerly known as the Gwinnett Braves, and uh, didn't get as good of a steal, but my friend is a season ticket holder there, so I got to use his season ticket holder discount. So I got him um, these pickups for below retail. Also picked up a game used jersey from there too. While I was there, then we also got a game used jersey that I picked up off of uh, a minor league team that no longer exists. They uh, were part of the Appy League that got eliminated along with the, uh, um, let's see, the Danville Braves got eliminated in it for one. Uh, this particular team got eliminated with it. Uh, I think there's a total of like 40 teams all got eliminated and they changed the Appy League to a a collegiate league. So the collegiate team that took over for this minor league affiliate still had some of the um, minor league affiliates game use stuff um, still available. So I snatched something up uh, off of their site. We'll get to that in a moment. Make sure you go join our Facebook Fitted group, also called Fitted Fiend, newer 5950 community. Links in the description or go to fittedfiend.com to help you find it easier. You can post your fizz of the day, buy, sell, trade, help assist members get fit as I may not be available in the area. We're 2,200 members strong. Thanks for all the love and support. Make sure you smash that thanks button to donate to the channel. Every little bit helps. All right, we're going to get into the stuff I got from the Gwinnett Stripers right quick. So the name of their store is Bobby's Tackle Shop, named after legendary Braves manager Bobby Cox. All right, so... I end up getting these in 778 since they're all Bangladesh made because the 73 force I had of all these were Bangladesh made and didn't fit right. So I was wanting to get two of each, but uh, this is their alternate um, road hat, which I end up getting the game used jersey that matches this one. So uh, I went through the entire stack of 778s, and this is the only one that fit decent, so I only got one instead of two. So all Navy Dome and Bill. It's got the G for Gwinnett, shaped like home plate. Very cool. Then it has the striper jumping up through the G. And there's a hook with a baseball on it for bait. Uh, so it's kind of like a, I don't know if you call it like a lime green type color. Navy, white, and red accents. Very nice. It's got the new era flag done that, done that lime color green. It's got the MILB Batman logo done in the lime green, white, and navy. It's on field, so there's no side patch. Black UV. Once again, I got 778s, new era. Miley tagging, and it is Bangladesh made. So this is the one they wear with one of their road jerseys. This one they wear, they have a retro jersey that favors the 1974 style Atlanta Braves jersey. So originally, this hat when they came out with it, was all navy. It didn't have the two white front panels, so they discontinued the all navy version, which I got lucky and found some 778s USA made ones about a year ago in the Atlanta Braves Clubhouse store that I was able to snatch up. So I ended up getting um, this version about a year ago, but that's before I discovered the huge headache that I have with China versus Bangladesh made. And it was the best Bangladesh fitting 734 they had, but you know, still didn't fit, you know, like I, I would like it to. So I wanted to get 778s seven, seven, in, in this. So I, I got one that felt more comfortable and, and fit me better because I do have uh, the jersey that goes with this that I customized with my favorite number 13 on it. So uh, so once again, they had the color blocking done to resemble the 1974 style brace hat that has a little A on it. So it's got the hook coming down in the lime green color with a peach color. Uh, worm, all done in navy accents, very nice. All the rest of the panels and the button and the, the bills all done in navy. White New Era flag. It's got the MILB Batterman logo done in the lime green, white and navy color. 
Now from the other side, black UV, black sweatbands, 778's new era, Marley tagging, and it is Bangladesh made. So I doubled up on that, got the two best fitting ones out of the whole stack. On the website, it says they were out of the size. Actually, a lot of st the stuff on their website says it sold out, but in store they actually had it, so I don't know what's up with that. All right, so this is the game New Jersey I got. I think they had them for 120 bucks, but with my buddy season ticket holder discount, I got it for $96. So this is the road jersey. I do not know who wore it. They uh, they introduced this road jersey a couple years back, but they recently have updated the jersey and added an additional patch to the right sleeve that has a circle patch that says like AAA affiliate of the Atlanta Braves or something like that on it. So uh, this was the version before they started doing that. So I guess that's why they got rid of it. This is probably a coach's jersey or a pitcher's jersey because it, it's in very good shape. It, it, you can't tell any, any wear on it whatsoever. Let me... Uh, Let's see. I may not button it up. So it has the, the, the Gwinnett going across it. Then the line coming down hooks back like a fish hook since they are the stripers. Number 25. This has one of their alternate hat logos. I believe they discontinued this hat that has that logo. So that's on the left sleeve. And the jerseys are made by Rawlings. So I got size 48, which is equivalent to XL. It's got the Rawlings tag, so on in the bottom left. The Gwinnett's done in double tackle twill and navy in the lime green with the navy piping going down the middle. The 25 also um, double tackle twill. And on the back, we got number 25. Uh, they have a bench coach right now um, who wears number 25. It could possibly be, um, be his, I don't know. Or if they had a player that wore 25 there. So I got the 25 once again. Done in double tackle twill in the lime green and the navy. It's got the MILB Batman neck tag done in navy and white. Very nice. So happy to add that to the collection. This makes my second Gwinnett game used jersey. I have the home version. That was wore by pitcher uh, Philip Pfeiffer. It's the version with the pinstripes going down. The, the traditional home one. All right, so this one came from one of the minor league affiliates that got eliminated when they got rid of the Appy League. So this was from the short-lived Greenville Reds. They had taken the place of the Greenville Astros. So uh, they were only there like maybe I think two seasons before. Um, the collapse of the Appy League. So I, I have the fitteds that I bought like dirt cheap off of their site whenever they first um, get, got rid of the, all the Appy League teams. But then uh, this wasn't on the site back then. So I like getting minor league jerseys that favor their major league affiliate. And, and, and th this fits that criteria. So this looks like the Cincinnati um, road jersey, but instead it has Greenville. His number 21. I don't know who the player is. Uh, they had limited sizes left. And whenever I have numbers to choose from, I like to pick lower numbers. I don't want like a you know number 65 or something like that, for example, if I can avoid it. So uh, so the Greenville is done in triple tackle twill, red, white, and black, all stacked on each other. The 21 is also done in tri triple tackle twill. It's made by Wilson. I got size 46, which is also the same as the XL. It's just a, a little bit more uh, of a trim fit, I guess, you, you know, a slim fitting XL, I guess you would say. And it has the Wilson 46 and stuff. It's, it's like screen printed on the bottom left. It's got the Cincinnati Reds logo on the left sleeve with the Wilson W patch. It's got the red and white piping around the sleeves. So on the back, we got the MILB Batterman logo done in red and white. Then we got the 21, once again, done in triple tackle twill, red, black, and white. Very nice. So happy to add that. I have the road version of this hat, which is actually USA made, thank goodness. So be able to rock those together. So 
that's all my pickups from the Gwinnett Stripers and the uh, former Greenville Reds. So two game used jerseys, three on field fitteds. Comment down below. Let me know um, what you saw in this video that you liked the most. Don't forget to go join the Facebook Fitted group, also called Fitted Fiend, New Era 5950 Community. Links in the description or go to fittedfiend.com. Smash the thanks button to donate to the channel. Please give a big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Trends are limited merch in the description. Until next time, it's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, signing out. Peace. <laughs>